His family didn't want him anymore. How could anybody not want you? I'm Kay, and this is Hendrick's story for GeoBeats. He'd been found on the street. He did have a microchip, and when they rang the owners, they said that they didn't want him anymore. He was due to be euthanised that afternoon. It's okay, Ronnie. He's okay. I had lost my first dog, and life just didn't feel the same without a dog in the house. I came across Hendrix's picture on social media. He looked so lost and bewildered, and I just knew that he was going to be mine. It was about a two and a half hour journey to go and meet him. Hello! Hello! Hello. He's absolutely stunning. Hello! When this big headed boy bounded through the door, I was like, yep. I'll take you. <laughs> Are you going to come home with me? <laughs> he was in poor condition. I'm assuming he'd been on the streets for a few weeks. He was really, really skinny. Really quite a skinny boy, weren't you? He was very unsure, very unsettled. He was quite flinchy. I don't know how he came to be like that. The first couple of nights were a little bit difficult because he didn't want to sleep where I'd made up his crate for him. So he ended up sleeping with me in my room and that's kind of where he's been ever since. <laughs> he just wants to be with you all the time. Hi, <laughs> mommy. He doesn't whine, he's just needy. He just puts his paws on me. And we, this is how we are most of the day if I'm not working. He's cuddle monster minus the monster. He's got the markings of a cow. Just one eyebrow. Do you have a nice time at the park? He's got the best smile you've ever seen. <laughs> but you only ever really see that smile if he's having carrots or if he's outside. Are you smiling? When he's indoors, his face just looks like this all the time. I've got a few health issues and he's just a constant source of emotional support. Oh, you're the cutest boy. Boop. He gets me more than some people do. He knows when I'm even just a little bit off and he'll come and put his like head on my knee. Like right now, he knows I'm pretty nervous. He's got a few calluses on his elbows, which the better said to me is from constantly been sleeping on hard concrete. But he just loves people, despite everything that's happened to him. How oh, gorgeous. You've got a new best friend. My friend has got a paddock in the countryside and she's 86 and their relationship is amazing. Good boy. <laughs> yeah. My good boy. <laughs> My granddaughter, they've got a very special bond. They love each other. And he's very polite. A lot of dogs get really excited when you come in. He's just like, oh, hey, I've not missed you that much. I wanted him to have a doggy friend. I actually couldn't be happier. They bonded really nicely. A lot of people think that he's a pit bull. The dog I had previous was a little fluffy dog and people would cross the road to come to greet us. But now I get the opposite and it's quite sad because all he wants to do is just for people to say hello to him and give him some love. It's okay, Ronnie. I feel like if he was human, he'd be very kind-hearted. Happy birthday to the best boy ever. He just seems like he's got a big heart and all he ever wants to do is please me. When you look at him, he's so beautiful. Who would abandon him? for a start, who would leave him out on the streets? It makes me feel even more like we were meant to be together.